Hello everyone, Pam here from Creative Homescaping. Today I'm bringing you my first Tablescape Tuesday. I've tried to make this Tablescape work for spring, but specifically St. Patrick's Day, which was a little tricky because I don't have a lot of green decor in my home. So I will take you on a tour of the table and show you what I did to compensate for that. Okay, let's get going. So here is the place setting. And for the place setting, I am using this uh, silver plated flatware. And I don't know if you can see that, but um, that one's kind of worn. It's better on the knife. Um, here you go. It has a C on it. Um, that's an initial uh, monogram. And this was passed down from my husband's family. It was, it belonged to his grandmother. And then these china dishes here, these are Syracuse China Coral Bell, and these were my mother's plates. And as you can see, let me zoom in a little bit here. It does have some spring green, some darker green, a little bit of burgundy, and this pink color. So, and then the rim around the plate has uh, platinum bands and then a green band. And so I thought I would use these because they did have that hint of green in them. And then for the glass, I have these Rhine wine glasses. These were also my mother's. Um, for those of you who are not familiar, in Germany, these are very common for drinking wine from the Rhine region. And they almost always have this green stem with some etching, I don't know if you can see that very well, etching on the glass. They're somewhat squat glasses, and then sometimes you'll see them with a gold rim around the top. And so I've just layered the uh, salad plate here with a plain kind of bone colored napkin on top of the dinner plate on top of the charger. And I used a silver charger since there's a platinum band on this plate. And then if you want to see the back, there you go, you can see Syracuse China Coral Bell. There you go. And then to add a little bit of decor, some more green, I took these white little, um, they're like little sorbet cups or dipping cups, and I filled them with some reindeer moss, and then I bought some little chocolates, and I stuck. So my camera cut out while I was talking about the little chicks in the bowls here. I wanted an, another touch of green because there isn't much green on this table just so it would reflect a little bit of spring and St. Patrick's Day. So that's why I added them. And then in the center of the table, I'll pan down, I have a simple burlap runner that I actually made myself. I saw how expensive these runners were in the stores and I knew burlap was very cheap fabric. And so I just took the burlap and I cut it down to width. And then I had some old lace um, in my stash and I just put that along the edges. And then I did a decorative stitch on the machine to hem it. And as you can see, I didn't even hem the edges. I just left them rough and did a zigzag over the edge. Um, with the lace because I wanted it a little bit of a little bit rustic looking. So that's the runner and then here are these hydrangea and rose arrangements I made in a DIY that I have posted in a separate video. So I'll put a link that below for that. And then in the center I have this S-shaped candle holder I've had for many many years. I got it at a craft store that doesn't exist anymore locally. And then just for a little extra touch, temporarily I put these little bunnies in here. Um, when I would serve dinner, I would put some of the dishes in these areas. But in the interim, I'm just going to have these little bunnies here. 
So that is my early spring St. Patrick's Day tablescape for 2018.